Amos chapter 6. Do your rulers in Jerusalem and in the city of Samaria feel safe and at ease? Everyone bows down to you and you think you are better than any other nation. But you are in for trouble. Look what happened to the cities of Calne, powerful Hamath, and Gath in Philistia. Are you greater than any of those kingdoms? You are cruel, and you forget the coming day of judgment. You rich people lounge around on beds with ivory posts while dining on the meat of your lambs and calves. You sing foolish songs to the music of harps, and you make up new tunes just as David used to do. You drink all the wine you want and wear expensive perfume, but you don't care about the ruin of your nation. So you will be the first to be dragged off as captives. Your good times will end. The Lord God All-Powerful has sworn by his own name. You descendants of Jacob make me angry by your pride, and I hate your fortresses. And so I will surrender your city and possessions to your enemies. If only ten of you survive by hiding in a house, you will still die. As you carry out a corpse to prepare it for burial, your relative in the house will ask, Are there others? And you will answer, No. Then your relative will reply, Be quiet. Don't dare mention the name of the Lord. At the Lord's command, houses great and small will be smashed to pieces. Horses can't gallop on rocks. Oceans can't be ploughed. But you have turned justice and fairness into bitter poison. You celebrate the defeat of Lodibur and Karnaim, and you'd boast by saying, we did it on our own. But the Lord God All-Powerful will send a nation to attack you people of Israel. They will capture Libo Hamath in the north, Arabah Creek in the south, and everything in between. <laughs> 